you would like most? Uh, I just like the way we stayed with it um, after that slow start. Um, and then um, we just had a lot of guys come off the bench and play with great energy. And uh, I think that's the strength of our team um, is just the depth and the ability to play a lot of different ways and different people. And, you know, the only way it works is if everybody buys into it. And um, the guys have, have done that, and they've had a great camp. And uh, it's a good way to start out the year. You guys, you went to 11 guys in the first, like, nine minutes and then 12 by the first 13. Is that deep and that quickly of a rotation, is that kind of what you're looking to do and sustain that? Yep. I mean, we're going to do it. I've never played 12 before, but we're going to do it. So it's not easy, but um, it's not easy on on anybody. But um, we just have to trust that from one night to the next, um, we're going to find guys um, – and combinations that really work, and um, and the guys have to understand that some nights their night, some nights not, and that's okay as long as we um, continue to to play together and play hard. I think it's going to be a really fun team to watch for our, our fans. Um, they play both sides of the ball, and you know a lot of good energy, and they like each other. The, the ball moves, and um, you know, it's fun, fun to watch them play tonight. When, when did you decide that? You know, I, I assume maybe a couple weeks ago you're like, all right, we got to find a few people that are not having the rotation. When did you decide that no, you were just gonna play all yesterday? Time? Yesterday, honestly, um, I didn't. You know, two days ago I was thinking, well, maybe I'll I'll just play ten and I'll just have to tell two of these guys that they're gonna sit, and I couldn't justify that because they've all played really well in camp, and um, I even felt bad sitting. Uh, Lindy, he's, you know, Lindy's had a great camp. He's one of our highest plus minuses, um, plus minus guys in, in camp um, for all the preseason games. So um, this is as deep a team as I've ever uh, coached, and um, we've got to lean into that. And, um, and we're, so we're going to play a lot of people. How did you like the pace? How would you like the pace you guys played tonight? Pace was good, yeah. Well, I mean, slow start. You know, we were a little ragged. I think we missed our first 10 threes, and, and – uh, and I thought Portland played really well defensively in that first quarter. Um, and then we were able to break free. You know, I, I thought Draymond was tremendous defensively, and that really um, got us loose. Wiggs had a great game. And then, like I said, the guys were bringing off the bench. Um, it's pretty impressive. You know, Buddy gets 22 points in less than 15 minutes. Um, you know, Gary's defense. Um, I can go down the list, but it feels like everybody we bring in is a um, really high-level player, and um, I can't imagine there are many teams in the league with more, more depth and so, uh, than we have, so that's what we have to lean into. Can you ever recall a team being watching a team, being on a team, being aware of a team at, at any level that played 10, 11, 12, 13 guys? I've played 11 before at times. Um, you know, my first couple of years, we had a really deep team, and... Um, there were times where we, we played 11, and that's that's tricky, but never 12. And um, we're going to try to do it. There's a while you put uh, four guards in the team uh, in a roster with Looney. Is that a roster you keep trying on that? Yeah, we have, um, you know, the way we're starting right now, um, that gives us um, a lot of guards and wings uh, to come off the bench with Buddy and Gary, Brandon, uh, Melt, Moses. Um, so uh, Loon really does a good job of, of kind of leading that group at both ends. And um, so we go with a lot of different combinations around, around Loon with that group. And uh, it's fun watching Melt tonight defensively. Um, He's really active, gets his hands on a lot of balls. And um, I think we're going to be uh, you know, better defensively this year just with the personnel that we have. What did you think of Buddy Hill? But he was incredible. I mean, he's instant offense. He's, um, you know, the way he runs the floor and transition, he opens up other people. Uh, his energy, his joy, his juice. Um, he's, uh, but he's an incredible addition to our team, and everybody, everybody loves him. I mean, he's, uh, he just brings it every day. When you reach a point where you're in a competitive game and you may shorten the rotation, will it be based on matchups, how you shorten the rotation in such a game? 
If we win, it'll be uh, my decision. If we lose, I will blame Chris Weems, and um, we'll, you guys can ask questions, and I'll just defer to Chris uh, on the losses. But when we win, it'll just be, you know, those were, those were great decisions by me. What did you so, think of the starters in the first half compared to the second half? Uh, not great in the first half. Uh, I thought everybody, you know, sometimes opening night you get jitters, and, and uh, I thought we were in a little bit of a rush. We had some turnovers. Um, and then second half, much better job of uh, giving us the, what we're looking for, you know, two-way basketball. We get a lot of size and athleticism with that group. And uh, so third quarter was better than the first. Particularly as things kind of settled down, how did you think Andrew uh, played? And- Wiggs was great. Um, and this is kind of what we're expecting this year, honestly. Um, you know, peace of mind, uh, great shape uh, in the prime of his career. I think Wiggs is poised to have a, a great season. We've talked before about, you know, him and increasing his scoring, getting back to that 20 points per, per game he's 20 tonight. It is especially on offense, selecting his shots, but also attacking downhill. Is that kind of the balance that you want him to strike? Yeah, yeah, we want him, uh, you know, I think I said six or seven threes a couple weeks ago. He shot seven of them tonight, um, but he attacked the rim. He got had, had some layups in transition. Um, so that's what we love about Wiggs is his ability to, you know, to, to score in, in, you know, different spots on the floor. How concerning, uh, if at all, was Draymond picking up a technical in the first game of the season, given the history? I mean, you've been watching us for a long time, so Draymond's going to get plenty of technicals. So as long as he doesn't get the second one, we're, we're fine. Was that kind of an updated strategy from you? To, you got, it seemed like you got the timeout pretty quick. I, I got the timeout pretty quickly. I was just uh, you know, making sure we kept him, kept him on the floor. He was amazing tonight. And uh, you know, we say it all the time, you, 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 don't, you can't have it all. You can't ask Draymond to uh, play with this amazing passion and energy and uh, effort and then tell him, no, no, you, you have to tone down the emotion. It, it's all part of the package. So it's up to us to, whether it's taking a timeout or just you know trying to calm him down. Um, but there's a reason Draymond is who he is. He's a champion. He's a, one of the best competitors I've ever been around. And there's going to be a lot of technicals. We just, we just can't let him get two. Thanks. Thank you. Great.